On this episode of Feasting on Film, I follow a food blogger around for the perfect mix of food and film photography. We had a whole lot of stuff, dumplings, buns, fried stuff, and sweets. Chinatown might be the best food neighborhood in this whole goddamn city. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, there's a few camera things as well. Let's go. What up, everybody? I'm here with one of my good friends, former colleague, Verna. Say what up, Verna. Hey. <laughs> Verna is a food blogger extraordinaire. And of course, he's one of the people I, I need to be hanging out with, you know, because I like to eat. So feasting on film today is going to be very, very fun. We're going to follow her around in her journey. We're going to how many spots today? Five. Five this different is our places. Spot. This is the most food we're probably going to see ever on this show. <laughs> and I'm going to document this. So pictures of Verna doing her thing, trying to make her look good on camera. And of course, you know, we've got some film cameras. So we've got me my classic 300V with some 250D in there. And then I got this big mother right here. This is my newest addition to the, the film family, my C330. So we're shooting some medium format. And I've got some expired uh, Pro Gold 400 here. So I'm going to shoot at 200. It's probably 20 years old at this point. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. But honestly, I think I'm more excited for the food today. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Uh, I know, look at, look, at, look at what's happening behind, there's so much going on. We've got the chefs back here crushing it, um, it's going to be a good day, so let's go ahead and start eating. Alright, so I'm going to interview Verna right now. This is okay. her moment to tell the world about herself. We have so to Verna, do it right now because there are some oh, dumplings. They, oh my god. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Verna getting distracted mm -hmm. by dumplings. <laughs> Look at it. It's oh a, my god. It's pretty funny that mid-interview we, we, we lose you. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I mean, you're a food blogger. That's what's supposed to happen. I get distracted by people very easily. So, what is your yeah, Instagram handle? It is Verna Hungry Banana. Hey. And I know everyone's going to laugh, but that's fine. It's fine. It's normal. No, it's good. Uh, so, where are you from? I'm from Shanghai, actually. This is exactly where we are at. It's called Shanghai Modern, which yeah. is why we're here first. Hell yeah. And yeah, I've, uh, but I've been in London for around 20 years now, so definitely She's a Londoner. Londoner. I know, definitely Londoner. <laughs> <laughs> and what, are, what is the dish you're most excited about today? So the lady over there has told us that we're going to have the best, favorite, most popular Xiaolong Bao, which yeah. is from Shanghai, where I'm from. So I'm very excited. I've heard good things. And I haven't had great Shalong Bao since, since ages ago, so... Oh. I know, and it's been like three years almost at this point because it's of COVID. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. You, you know yeah. the real deal, so... Exactly, so they better, they better be good. <laughs> all right, well, I'm excited. Please guide me along and teach me all your ways. I'm excited to feed you guys. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Got it. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like a sweet and sour sauce. It's very bright and fruity. Also, obviously sweet. Is that fish? It's so good. Right? This thing is somehow still a little bit crispy. It's like crispy and soggy at the same time, but yeah. it's a good way. That's good shit. Burn us killing it. One for one already. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumpling time. These are the soup dumplings. I'm gonna so do it. Basically, you. this dumpling right here is full of really hot right, cheers. porky broth. Cheers. <laughs> Can't forget so, what I learned is to not burn the shit out of your mouth, you bite the top off first. It releases a little bit of steam and then you suck on some of the soup. Oh, that soup is good. It's like creamy, porky, fatty, luscious. And then there's already some Chinese vinegar on the bottom here. If you can see the vinegar. And then now that some of the steam is out and some of the soup is out, it's time to just put it in your mouth and good. That's fucking great, Bernard. Right? I feel, like, you. I feel like this is the best I've had in London, you know? Um, That's I'm a happy big thing. You say that because I'm here for the ride. <laughs> All right, so this little piggy head right here, look at that. <laughs> uh, do you know why it's a piggy head? Because it's uh, pork inside. There's pork very smart you know no ambiguity <laughs> here so actually I'm gonna do what Verna did earlier Verna yeah. was like this is how the bloggers do it so you come in here right get yeah. a little bit tighter and mm -hmm. then you go you 
you rip it open and then you reveal all the goodies inside. Yeah. And that's barbecue pork. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go with the big piece first. I like that. It's quite saucy. Ooh, there's five spice in here. That's my favorite thing. That's good shit. I could eat a lot of those. You said it's saucy? It's very saucy. Yeah, normally, it's like a thick sauce. Yeah, normally it's a bit less. Mm -hmm. Normally there's more chunks of meat, but it's good. I like it. I think of all these three dishes we've had here, this is definitely the best one. Mm -hmm. But this is really I think good. this is what gives me the most satisfaction. Basically a breakfast that you get on the streets of Shanghai and it is right up my alley. You know, it's delicious, you fold it, you eat it while walking. Honestly, it's like what I do with pizza in New York. But anyways, we're gonna get one here to make them fresh. There's egg, there's really spicy chili paste. They sometimes put pork in there, all kinds of different things. So Verna's gonna hook it up for us and then we're gonna go ahead and start eating that. Oh yeah. Now this is the real deal. Okay. All right, Bernard, it's time. All right, let's go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you learned already. Mmm. 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 That's delicious. Got lots of sauce, which is what you wanted. It's like, it's very eggy too, in a good way. I like eggs, and I, you really feel like you're eating breakfast when you got the eggs, but the sauce, that chili paste. Look at that, come in, get in there. <laughs> See, there's a ton of chili paste in there. There's pork, mm. a little crispy wonton thing, cabbage, mm. that, that mustard greens. I got crunchy bit. Have you got the crunchy bit yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And there's a ton of scallions oh. and cilantro. I love this, man. This yeah. is fucking. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn. So you, champions. Need a, you need to demonstrate your jambing for us and get a photo of you. <laughs> I got mid bite. With both though, both hands. Okay. It's like very jolly burn. Smile. Perfect, we'll do one more. <laughs> Eating both at once, god damn. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome to my favorite place in London. <laughs> Why is it your favorite place? Well, I don't know. But it has everything I like, you know, like <laughs> Chinese food, there most, you go. mostly. Uh, also, Chinese supermarket. Oh, the Chinese supermarket is legit. You get all the good stuff there. Yeah, and uh, what is it? Uh, gay bars, like, like this one down there. <laughs> famous, award winning. I know. All right, okay. so we're at Bun House, and what is this exactly? It's like steam buns. Bun House. Buns. <laughs> it's just little fluffy buns that are filled yeah, with delicious okay. stuff. Yeah, I think I have to check, check so, this out. Yeah, yeah, I think it, it but... makes more sense when you can see it. Yeah, this box is like, I feel bad throwing this packaging out. I know, I'm like, oh my god, I don't, I kind of just want to keep it, you know? Like with these. Here we go. So, here we go. Big day. <laughs> okay, so we got... big fluffy buns. Mm -hmm. well, that's fluffy. Look at that. This is, it says pork, uh, pork actually, on the top. Yeah. I would and not have known that. We have egg <laughs> on the top. Egg. So one's for pork, one's for custard. And this custard one is the shit. Yeah, it really is. It's kind of ridiculous how good it is. Um, Hold on, I gotta show the texture here. It's a little fluffy, you see? Fluffy buns. Fluffy. I like fluffy buns. <laughs> My favorite. Um, okay, we got our bun. 
you ready? Yeah. This is the squirty bun and it's filled with a sweet, eggy, custardy thing. It looks a little interesting right now, but I promise you this is delicious. All right, I gotta eat this without making a humongous mess. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm definitely eating paper. <laughs> that paper. We're doing it live, you know, stuff happens. But the paper that was on the sticky bun. Here we go. Now we're talking. Come in closer. Look at that. How good does that look? So this tastes like, there's a hint of egg yolk, and you can taste the egg yolk for sure, but there's a lot of sugar in here. And the sugar makes it taste really fucking good. What is it, like little cinnamon? Probably a little bit of five spice. I got a little bit of cinnamon, yeah. There's a little earthy stuff going on. Okay. It's not just sugar. There's definitely something else in here. But, uh, oh, maybe I need to taste it again, right? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna finish this one fast because the other one's calling my name. Mm -hmm. Yum. Sip on it, like there you go. Yeah, and then exactly. Can you like half smile while you're sipping it? Yeah, perfect. Don't do anything. One, two. Fucking oh, wow. amazing. This is so much better than the pool. No offense to the pool. No, no, you're totally right. This is so good. <laughs> lamb. Cumin lamb. I've had cumin lamb on noodles before, like the, the, the so bang bang noodles. It's juicy. It's like creamy too, and there's little chunks of fat. This is, this is the best thing they sell there, in my opinion. Custard's number two, but this, god damn. Chinatown might be the best food neighborhood in this whole goddamn city. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Verna. Okay. Where are we? So, we're at Meat Fresh. Meat Fresh. Um, and it's actually a, a really popular Chinese dessert brand. Yeah. And you see it all the all, like all over China. It's like one of my favorite desserts actually. It's very Chinese and very Asian. Um, most of the people see you see here are not. Yeah. Non ain't no, ain't no white people in here right now. So we're gonna try uh, some traditional Chinese desserts. Uh, we've got red bean, taro, grass jelly. It's all of the very different things you've never tried. I think. So right? it's about to get crazy in it's here. It's gonna it's gonna get very adventurous for you. Like we've For been, me, it's we've like. Been <laughs> We've been pretty tame until this point, like in a reasonable amount of food, but <laughs> yeah. from the sounds of it, they're about to bring out like the yeah, whole the lady, fridge of The food. lady's like, okay, I'm gonna bring you everything. I'm like, okay, oh my God. hit me. <laughs> this is about to get real glad. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> King, you're excited. Oh, I think our food is coming. I see Tony's face. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what the? F this is crazy. <laughs> Thank you Holy much. shit! <laughs> you see the size of this thing? Look at my face! <laughs> uh, so wow, yeah, uh, how do you even eat this? Like, where do you begin? Um, it's like Django. Yeah, my where do you lord. Begin? I'm questioning. Right, well, I guess they're bringing oh, yeah, some. Uh, oh. Yeah, so I got three. There we go. So wow. that's the grass jelly. This is the tofu pudding, and then this is the shaved ice. Wow. I'm glad you guys are here. I literally don't know what to do. This is this is like 100% foreign to me. Yeah. I don't know where to begin. I just see things jiggling. <laughs> see it's all jiggling. I love it. Uh, um, this is crazy. I I'm overwhelmed, but let's goodness, see what happens. With happiness. <laughs> This 
So we had a little accident. <laughs> Look at that. Bubble tea everywhere. This is, this is, this is all normal. It's all fine. Is this the first time you make a mess at a place? Disaster. We try to make a little milk tower, the one you just saw, and we dropped it. Uh, no excuses. We had it coming. <laughs> Jeez. Oh yeah, that's good. Just like drinking cereal milk. You know, you make some cereal bowl in the morning. Put your little uh, special K. No, not special K. Doesn't have enough sugar. You need like corn flakes. You eat all the corn flakes. You got the milk left over. And you drink the milk by itself. Or frosted flakes. That's the one with a lot of sugar. Yeah, the milk that's left after you're done eating your frosted flakes. This is kind of what this tastes like. All right, we're not gonna make any more food towers now because it'd be a disaster. Everything. So the shaved ice is flavored already. All right, let's see what this first bite tastes like. It's good. It's very milky. Yeah, definitely. It's like very creamy milk, but then it's kind of light because of the shaved ice. It's just frozen water, so it doesn't. It's not overpowering, you know. Let's see. Actually, I need to have one of these solid things right here. So let's see what the mochi tastes like. It's very chewy. It's an interesting texture. It's like gelatinous, but it doesn't break right away. It's not like tofu. It's like chewy. No, mochi is made of rice. Made of rice? Yeah, it's like very. Have another bowl? Perhaps. It reminds me of the rice cakes you have on like Korean food. It's good. It's not my favorite texture, but when it's covered in all this other stuff, it's good. Oh, we got ice cream here. Hold on. Mm. That ice cream is delicious. It's a very similar flavor. I like it. It's milk. Everything tastes like sweet milk. Oh, it's cold. All right, I'm gonna keep going in there. Yeah. This is this right here? It's called grass jelly. I have never had anything like this before. You don't think it looks like and a it jiggles a lot. Watch. Let me show you this jiggle. So I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. Verna's giving me no info on purpose. Um, literally, first thing I've ever, first time I've ever tried this. And there's something under here as well. I thought there's the, there's something under all this shape, more shaped ice. I think. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get deep in there. I'm gonna get everything in one bite. Okay. All right, come here. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, just lost one. I literally have no idea what this is gonna taste like, but I like that it's still jiggling. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very interesting. It's very different. I love the stuff on the bottom. It's got like a really milky, coconutty kind of flavor. But this texture of the jelly thing, no. it's very interesting. It's almost, it's like I want to chew it, but I can't. It just like yeah, keeps dancing around. Yeah. It like avoids my teeth somehow. But um, flavor wise, it's very sweet, but it's like a, it's almost like a, like an earthy sweet. Yeah, I don't know. It's like herbs. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's very herby, it's very a, earthy. It is a, it is a herb. It's a, like, is it like? It's a medicinal herb. Med okay. That's why I feel like this was traditionally eaten as like a medicinal herb. Gotcha. Like, what's the word? Like when you eat too much spicy food, it's meant to calm you down. Okay. So if you're inflamed internally, ah, that's I see, like I see, calming I see. down. Does that make sense? Kind of. I mean, I'm down with it. It's cooling. It's extremely cooling. Extremely yeah, cooling in and refreshing. Terms, it's very cooling. It's very cooling, very refreshing. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's true. <laughs> I mean, I believe it. <laughs> so I'd be like, that is I'm going to give it one more go because now we have these little, the little ball on top. That thing. Yeah. This is this is more mochi or not? Taro. Taro. Yeah. Keep messing that up. Uh, let's see. It's way chewier. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more resistance than the jelly stuff. 
it's interesting. It makes you feel like you're eating something healthy because of that herby flavor and essence. Well, I don't know. I have no idea what the nutritional info for this is, but it's quite sugary, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's not my favorite thing on the table, but I do like it. I like our tower of ice cream and ice more. <laughs> Y'all, I'm very full. Verna filled me up of milk I'm tea. Stuffed. I don't know what kind of milk they're selling at this place, but it <laughs> felt very luxurious and the hey, sugar, candy. fancy sugar. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just did a couple portraits outside of a little famous right, London spot. I'll show you right here. Um, but it's time to go. I think I'm done eating for today. Um, I don't know how <laughs> you do this week. food blogger life. Uh, I don't. But it was fun to follow either. you around and kind of oh. snoop on you while you're recording and making all Thanks your content. Thanks for joining me and helping yeah, yeah. me eat always. No, no, this is great. This is the truest film and food we've done to date. <laughs> we've got film and food all over the place. Lots so. of food for Until the next one, y'all. <laughs> Say peace. <laughs>